This is Easton. The eight-year-old ninja warrior athlete who has been going insanely viral for his superhuman strength. Like racing a Lambo. <laughs> not win against a Lamborghini. I went easy on him last time, but I'm not holding back today. Jeff got lucky last time, but this time it's my time to win. Win a round, get 100 points. First of 500 points wins a mystery prize. Whoever has the fastest obstacle time avoids a terrible consequence. Are you ready? Yes. Also, this gym has a built-in timer, so you literally can't cheat. Do, do you think you're gonna beat me? Yep. We'll see about that. <laughs> Two, one, go! All right, your time has started. Even though Easton is way younger than me, he's actually been training Ninja Warrior longer than me. Yo, that was impressive. How are you doing that? Wait, yo, one arm. Bro! No way, no, no. Ah! Oh my gosh. 1434. Oh. That was absolutely crazy. Like you didn't fall off or anything. Do you have chalk? Two, one, go! This was the most extremely difficult Ninja Warrior obstacle I've ever tried. Oh. Ah! No! Are you serious? Dude, no! I didn't have enough chalk. That is literally unfair. You are automatically disqualified! No! Yeah. No! Yes! Jack's going down! Oh! Oh! oh my god! Are you kidding me? What was that for? I need water! Level 2. Who can do the most flips in a row using the mini tramps? Easton went first and decided to do a massive front flip off the last trampoline. Knowing I only had a beat one, I bottomed my way through all of the trampolines and decided to do a bunch of back handsprings all the way down the beach to where the jellyfish are packed in the ocean. And because I did that many flips, I clearly won this round. Next round, hardest bar trick. Wait, why do you have this? Because if you do the hardest bar trick, then there is a mystery inside. Any guesses? No. All right, well, I'm gonna win it. Let's do this. I'll go first. If I can land this hardest bar trick that I've ever done, I will win what's inside this mystery briefcase. Oh! Landed like a sumo wrestler. Easton's setup looks a little different than mine, using two bars, and I only used one. Oh! oh! No! Are you kidding, dude? I don't know if it had style. It had difficulty. I have one thing to say, Easton. Are you ready for a briefcase? No! It's all yours. <gasps> what? Are those giant Pokemon cards? Oh, there's actual Pokemon on them? Do you like Pokemon? Yes. We're going on to the next challenge, and the prizes are going to get crazier and crazier. I'm Chris, Easton's dad, and we're from Lakeland, Florida. Easton started doing gymnastics around three years old and then decided that it wasn't for him anymore, so we decided to try Ninja out. And luckily, where we're from, there's not a whole lot to do, so Ninja is the best thing for him. We can do it in his backyard. We can do it anywhere because all it is is just life obstacles, and that's why he absolutely loves it. We also built Easton a giant giant rig in the backyard. It ranges about 40 feet. It has devil steps on it. And the reason we built it is because it literally gives him something to do all the time. It doesn't coop him up in a room. It doesn't put him behind books eight hours a day. It gives him activity all the time. And since he's homeschooled, it gives him an outlet to go outside and relieve himself and do things like that so he can stay fit and stay happy. Next round, tug of war. You're going down. I'm stronger. No, I'm stronger. Bro, my arm weighs as much as your whole body. No, it doesn't. Ah, let's go. Three, two, one, go! Ah, I was pulling. I was pulling. I'm just kidding. I was barely even trying. I mean, I weigh three times as much as him. So watch. All I have to do is lean back. Ah, ah, ah. Easton, you did do good, but it was a little unfair because I'm twice your size and there was no prize for this round. So I won for nothing. You're not twice my size. You're like five times my size. Hey, watch it there. Hey, I've been cutting back. He has not been cutting back. Who can pop the highest balloon? There are three levels. Oh, oh. Let's do this. Yeah. Yeah. Level one. Oh! Three balloons? 
I don't know if this is a little unfair because I'm taller than Easton, but he's better at wall runs than me. Whoever gets the highest balloon pops wins. We still have two more levels. Level two. This challenge is a mix of different skills, including balance, precision, strength, and no fear. Ah, like a cat. Level three. This is for my grandma's cat that just recently fell. Let's go. Ah! Ah! If you don't get all your balloons, I win this round, but you're still in the lead for the challenge. So who's gonna get the big Mr. Prize at the end of this competition? Oh, hey, that was really good. Easton got literally proportionately way higher than me. Whoever completes this obstacle course first avoids a consequence. Oh. To complete the challenge, you have to grab that cliffhanger. Uh, you wanna go first or me? Sure. Two, one, go! Oh my gosh. Whoa, looks like a All mini right. diving board. He's making it look easy. Oh my gosh. Oh my, oh. Oh. Oh my gosh. Yo. No way. Hang on to the cliffhanger. Ah! No! The buzzer! Are you kidding? That was insane. Easton's time is 20.9. Jack, you just have to beat that. I don't think you can. Nope. You got this, Jack. Oh, oh my. Just, okay. Ugh. Just don't go. Bro! Give me chalk. I, I, that doesn't count. You don't get another try, Jack. No. I didn't use chalk, so you don't use chalk. Bro, but you're way lighter. Like, I literally didn't even make it up the first thing. Like, my knuckle's broken. Get lighter and stop eating Chick-fil-A. I knew I had to think outside the box, so I started climbing the entire frame of the thing. Jack, stop. Why do you do this in every video? Uh, uh, Jack, you're still uh, going to lose. Here we go. Jack, here we go. You're still losing. Oh, my paws! Just like last time. Ow. He screams like a little girl. And Jack's consequence is he has to eat out of a toilet bowl. Out of a what? At this moment, when a faff told me I have to eat out of the toilet, I regret oh, doing no. this. How are you so scared of this? Oh, bro, I love these things. Oh, look at inside of that. Can I have some? Well, you, you didn't lose. It's a consequence, and I don't like sour candy. Can I lose now? Can you what? Can I lose now? You want to lose now? I lose. Well, you, you could have chose to lose that challenge, but now you're another 100 points till the big challenge. Can I get one? All right, you know what? I'm just going to give you the whole thing. Okay. Now I don't have to do the consequence! The highest wall step wins. Well, figuring I need to catch up right now, I need to get some points. I don't think you're going to beat me. All right, level one. Level one was easy, but each time the tape is going to get higher and higher, making it harder and harder. I think I'm going to win for level two. Well, I'm going to be going first so that I can show Jack how it's done. Okay, there it is. All right, Easton, if you hit it, it's over. Here we go. Oh! It wiggled, but you make it. Come on, Jack. Parkour! <laughs> yeah, I'm not even trying yet. I'm going to <laughs> Each level is getting harder and harder, and now it's almost as tall as me. I don't know, Easton, that's a short run up. Oh! Oh my gosh, the double step was actually steezy. That was steezy. Oh, you're cheering me on? You must not want the prize! But I do. The tape is now taller than Easton's head. That's not that hard for me, but for him, that would be crazy if he makes it. Jack, I don't think you're gonna get it. Parkour! Ah! 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 If Easton does not clear this wall, that means I win this challenge and we'll be all tied up for a final round. Hopefully he doesn't make it. Oh! Get out of here. Right now, the stakes are super high, so let's run it up. I don't think you got this, Jack. I think you're going to fail. That's what my high school math teacher said, and now look. All right, ready? <laughs> yes, sir. Y'all didn't know I had that move in the bag. Oh my gosh, we both did a dive over move to make it. Now the tape's going to go higher. I actually don't know if I'm going to win this round. All right, East the Beast. I didn't think we would even make it to this height, but we have. I'll go first. Okay. Ah, I definitely broke my spine for that one. Ah! Oh, hey. You do realize we're tied now. The only way to beat me is from one more challenge. You get to pick it. Of course. Whoever completes this speed course, the fastest will win what's inside of this mystery briefcase. Give me it. You don't get it yet. Well, you need to win first. I think I'm going to win. Let's see who has the fastest time. Two, one, go. Easton was off to a quick start. Going over the obstacles so fast, I don't know how I'm going to be able to replicate his speed. This kid is faster than a cheetah. I mean, a, a Lamborghini. Push, you're almost there. Oh. Oh! 
Right off the beginning, I tripped, but I had to recover. I have longer legs, so I should be able to speed up and make up for the time. <gasps> All right, the little push oh. back. Don't want to slip. Don't want to slip. Oh, oh, you're done. You're done. Oh, oh, oh. 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 2176. What? My time was longer than his? Did I just lose the entire challenge to an eight-year-old? Me personally, I think he could have done better if he didn't scream like a little girl before this challenge. <laughs> there is 1,000 of something in this box. Are you ready to find out what it is? Thousand. Yes. What did you win? Oh, what? Yeah. What? That's like unlimited Pokemon cards. That's like the best prize ever, isn't it? But Ethan, because you're such a good Ninja Warrior athlete, I actually have another prize for you. Follow me. And if you thought a thousand Pokemon cards was a really cool prize, just wait to see what I have in store for Easton outside. All right, I know what you're thinking because we're walking up to the Lamborghini, but I do have to break it to you. You're not old enough to drive, so you didn't win the Lamborghini. And it's a rental anyway. But Easton, since you were the best Ninja Warrior athlete in the world and all of your training and dedication inspires everybody. I got you a gift because I want you to keep doing your thing. So let me get it from here. Oh, whoa, 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 who put packing peanuts in there? Wait, the Lambo's filled with packing peanuts? Oh my gosh, wait, no, where is it? Where I'll is find it. And something's in there. Oh, here it is, Easton. I'm giving you $2,000 towards your Ninja Warrior backyard course. So you can use this to get whatever you want and help design your backyard better. Thank you, Jack. Dude, thank you. You are literally such a beast. You're a huge inspiration, man. I actually mean that from my heart. Keep doing your thing. Now I gotta go clean some packing peanuts. I don't know who pranked me. Subscribe. Easton is an inspiration to all and is living proof you can do anything you put your mind to. Like the video if you think Easton has a bright future and subscribe if you want to see a part three.